Welcome everyone. This is the third episode of TD 101. In this episode, you will learn how to border your paper as well as how to draw your title block. Stay tuned. Now, before you get to the stage where you will border your paper, you will have to first set up the paper on the drawing desk as I have here. Now, if you don't know how to do this, you can just check in the description, the video description, there will be a link to episode one that will show you how to set up your drawing paper. So let's begin. Okay, when drawing our border, we have to firstly determine how thick we want our border to be, meaning how far from the edge of the paper. Now, I am going to use one centimeter as the distance of my border from the edge. That is equivalent to 10 millimeters. Now, let's go ahead. So, I am going to turn the set square so that the zero mark is in line with the edge of the paper. Now, I'm going to take a measurement and my measurement will be 10 millimeters. So I'm going to place that dot at the 10 millimeter mark. Now I have that dot here, right? I'm not sure how visible that dot is to you. Hopefully it is. Now the next thing that I will do is I am going to draw a very thin line, right? A very thin line. Now for this exercise, please use your 6H pencil to draw this line. This line will be a construction line with, which will serve as a guideline for the actual border. Now as you go across, you will lightly press, as I have just done, lightly press on the pencil to produce a very dull line. Remember, every line that you're drawing that goes horizontally, you have to ensure that the T-square is sliding along the edge of the table so that the line will be perfectly accurate. Now, I'm going to do, do this again for the base line. I'm going to put the zero on the edge Then I'm going to mark off 10 centimeters, sorry, 10 millimeters. I have my dot there. I'm going to slide the T-square downwards on the edge so that I can draw the line going across right through the dot that I have created. Remember, your 6H pencil, you should lightly press. Once you have done that, you'll realize that there are two very dull lines, one at the top of the paper, one at the bottom of the paper. Now we need two more lines. I'm going to do the same thing from this edge. And the, the same thing from the right edge, ensuring that the zero is at the edge of the paper. I'll mark off my one centimeter or my 10 millimeters. It's the same thing. Now, I'm going to take my set square now, ensuring that the T square is flush with the edge. I'll slide it down out of the way a bit. I'll rest my set square. You can use any set square for this exercise, but I realized that the 30, 60 set square, that's this set square, it is more suited for this job because the length of the vertical line that we will need to draw is longer than the length of the 45 degree set square, which is this set square, right? So you, th you take the 30 degree set square and you will draw a line through the dot. Please ensure that the set square is sitting flush with the T square and it's sliding along. You can slide it all the way across to the next dot, right? 
ensure that you're seeing the dot. The dot is right there for me. Now that you have your four construction lines, you will proceed to border. You will notice there are four points on the paper where the very dull lines intersect. Those are your starting and ending points for each border line. You're going to press on the pencil. For this exercise, you will use your H pencil and you will press going across. That you will stop at the dot. Please don't go beyond the dot. You will take your set square, ensuring that it is flush and that the T-square is flush on the edge of the desk. Ensure that the set square does not shift while doing this. And in the process, ensure that the set square is not sliding under the T-square. Depending on the type of T-square that you have, this may happen. Now we need to draw our final line, our final outline. Now we have our bordered paper. Now it's time to draw the title block. Now as you can see, I have my set square here. And I'm going to use this to measure my title block. Now, I am going to me measure three, the points for three lines. I'm going to measure at this edge, the lower left edge. I'm going to measure five millimeters three times. So I'm going to measure five, 10, 15. I'm going to count from the point of intersection of the border lines going up five strokes three times. So that's five millimeters, 10 millimeters, 15 millimeters. After I've done that, I'm going to use my T-square ensuring that it's sliding on the edge of the table flush. Then I'm going to put it in line with the first dot and I'm going to draw a construction line. That is a very dull line. Second line, also a construction line. Going across. The third line will be bright, just like the border lines. I'm going to press on the pencil. Now, for the first two lines, you're going to use a 6 h pencil to draw these lines. And for the line at the top of the title block, that will be drawn by a H pencil. Now, please note, if you don't have an H, a H pencil, you can use a 2H or worst case scenario, a 3H. If you don't have the 6 h pencil, you can also use a 5H or a 4H. Just note that the bigger the number, the lighter the pencil will be in terms of the thickness of the line. Now, let's go ahead and write our names. Now, in technical drawing, when we're writing our names, it is supposed to be written in block capitals. This means strictly capital letters. And these capital letters will be written as plain as possible. Now, um, there will be a separate video explaining how we should write in technical drawing. As soon as that vi video is available, I will place the link in the video description. Right? So stay tuned for that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write my name. 
Firstly, I'm going to write name. then colon and please note I am writing between the two dull lines please note additionally the letters are touching both dull lines And the last name now after you've written your name you can basically write anything that you wish upon your discretion or by the teachers advice now topic I'll go ahead to write topic. Then a colon. Then whatever the topic is for the lesson, that's what you'll write. Then I'll leave some space. I have to be careful with leaving the space because I haven't written the topic as yet. Don't want to leave too little of space. Then I write date and whatever today's date is or the date of the drawing that you'll be doing you will put the date after this okay so we have just covered title blocks and bordering of your paper stay tuned for more episodes <laughs>